Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Star Arcade and more My Sims Agent. In the last episode, we found out uh, that the di that the potential diamond or crystal that we are looking for might be at a will read-in um, of a man who used to work with Evelyn's father. However, we need an invitation, so we came to help Poppy, who got an invitation, but they were stolen by Derek and scattered by birds, so we got all that done. Now we are heading back to headquarters. A stunning red evening gown and dapper blue suit for the more formal events I'll need to attend. A clown themed top hat and mon- uh, Oh, a cow themed top hat and monocle? You can't get much classier than that. Oh, I get it. Hey, Yuki. Hello, Yuki. Yuki is tired of spying on you. Why can't she just bite your face now? Yuki, have you considered talking to someone about this obsession? Come to Yuki. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Hey, a pal. Been thinking, um, I really shouldn't go to the Cyrus Mansion. I already promised Roxy I'd be her test subject for the industrial nano disinfectant she just got in. She's testing the disinfectants on you? Well, she wants to make sure they're safe before she uses them on her equipment. Hmm. Hilarious. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, Johnny Depp. What's with, up with Derek stealing mail? Is he looking for something or is he just a jerk? Hey, Roxy, are you. Johnny Depp, are you aware that. There are over 7 million forms of dirt found in the swamp. I'll make sure I wipe my feet before I get in the jet. That's not good enough! Roxy, are you going to be okay? This job is killing me. Anyone new to hire? No? Alright. I could probably hire those two. They'd be fine. Uh, I need a mission debrief from what was the result. I heard that all the pigs really enjoyed the movie. Here are the rewards for the job well done. This headset will certainly help me look cool. The square glasses will help me give a sophisticated look. So I heard the team figured out some blue thing was apparently one of Dr. F's mysterious inventions. Well, I guess Pinky was happy. Pinky is now available for recruiting. Hope you have lots of blue paint. Some nice effort and... Alright. So we should probably send out some more people. But I want to see what this new outfit is. So it's going to be under friends and foe. <laughs> oh, that, whatever that is, is cool. So where's this dapper suit they're talking about? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, hats. Uh-huh. Maybe it's not in this one. Maybe it's... Street clothes. It's, it might be under agent gear, but I could have swore it was under. Hmm. Yeah, I really want to see what this suit and hat looks like. Oh, now that's a cool hairstyle. But I wish you could wear these hats without it changing the hairstyle, because this looks awesome. What about suits? Ooh, uh -huh. that looks nice. Yeah, sure, let's try a dapper suit and let's see if we can find that hat. Is a nice hat, but I don't think it's the hat we're looking for. Costumes it might be under here. I wonder what the bluey stats would be, or Pinky's stats. Doctor Viking. Ah, there's the hat. 
Yeah, sure, let's just be outlandish. Um, hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think we're going to just stick with our look, but we will dress up in a suit. Uh, you know, since we're going to a nice fancy mansion. Try and fit in, you know? What are Pinky's stats? Ooh, hooray, I'm Pinky. I'm totally ready to combat evil. Also, I understand that agents are issued blue uniforms. Those will look great on me. I mean, yeah, let's just go all in on charisma. Welcome to the team. That's what she looks like? She's adorable. Pinky, reporting for duty. Please assign me to a blue floor. You know what's funny? I think I actually did. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go deal with my agents, and uh, I'll be back when we set off to leave. Mm -hmm. So, once again, <laughs> still haven't changed much. What's up, Pinky? Oh. I want to solve mm -hmm. cases just like you, Johnny. Maybe you could send me on a mission. Hey, get out of the pool, man. No, I get out of the pool. <laughs> or the hot tub. All right, fine. Let me in. Hey, Travis. You think Morcubus will use this will read as a chance to get the crystal? Keep your head clear and your cell phone charged, Chief. See, this is like this is what I mean. Every you can't. I don't think you can recruit everyone in the game, right? Because I think that would just whoops, no, wrong place. Because uh, I think that would just lead to. Oh, you guys are back. What's up, Nova? I'm not sure. I trust agency. All right. What about you? Hey, Rosalyn. Good luck if that will read it. Secure the crystal and work this will have nowhere to turn. Why did he teleport all the way over here? Vic, what's up? You think I could ever become a special agent like you? Maybe if I do more dispatch missions. Speaking of... Wait, was that my phone that went off? No, it was not. So, let's put a mausoleum bed in here. Actually, no, let's, uh... Put it here. Well, this is probably the best looking room I have, just because it's not a complete conglomeration of everything else. Um, I just gotta do one last thing before we leave. Uh, let's, I'm gonna read these dispatch missions and I'll let you know which ones we choose. Alright, so I figured out what I wanted to do, but I also wanted to take a look at these guys, the new ones we got. So, I was right, I just didn't say it out loud. This is just, this is Samurai Bob! And then, Spencer, or Hexord, I think is what that's supposed to say. I can't log into Pally Quest Online. But yeah, no, we're going to set, we're going to do Candy Plus. Well, I promised the fans, and now it's time. I'm going to stage the first, the first concert ever on the moon. Now I just need help with a few logistics. We're going to send, we're going to send Basement Team because, uh, well, they got a great chance of doing this just because they're all intelligent. And then we're going to send... Uh, pizza investigation. We're gonna send these guys because they got a great chance. Uh, our investigations have led us to a humble pizza parlor, or is it? I suspect it's really a more Q Corp front. I could use assistance in investigating anybody hungry. All right, so that's that, and now I will be going to uh, the other, the last area, the other area in the jet. <laughs> Took us a while to get there, but uh, I, I, I think it's important to do side stuff in in games like this. Hey, I heard Cyrus's mansion is down in the bayou. So I don't know if I'm up for this, Johnny Depp. I got too much to do already. I'm swamped. There is an eject button that Johnny Depp is thinking of. There's an eject button that Johnny Depp's thinking of not pushing. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, no, I always remember this as being the third area you go to with the jet. 
I guess that's why I could never think of the second area because this is the second area. Good evening, huh. friends. God. Yeah, I get that a lot. May I see your invitation, please? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. I see right this way, Poppy. Do you have any bags I can take? No, we don't. Good, that lady in yellow dress in the yellow dress brought so much luggage, I thought my arms are go were going to fall off. Oh, great. The others have already arrived. Madame Zoe was just about to begin. Right this way, please. I'm telling you, Trevor, he's going to leave the fortune to me. Nonsense, the Asaius would only entrust that powerful crystal to me. They say the fortune can show your future. What exactly are you hoping to see, Trevor? <laughs> oh, nothing. I just need the crystal as a prop in my new play. Trevor finds the crystal. That's ridiculous. You're a ridiculous man. Darlings, if I get the crystal, I will use it for something worthwhile. For seeing new fashion trends. Wow, sounds like these people only came to the will reading to get the fortune crystal. Or fort... 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 fort Fortunate, for, fortunate, crystal. Isn't that why we're here? Oh, mm -hmm. I guess that's Poppy's sister. You know, there's more to this estate than just the crystal. Jahangi Johaba, Chubbawabi. Sasas Ball, everyone is here. I can't do French accents. Whoa. Thank you all for accepting my invitation. As you know, we are gathered here tonight to read the will of my great uncle Cyrus. Soon we will know who amongst us will inherit uncle's estate. But first, we eat dinner. Yes sir, dinner is planned, but before that, we should all adjourn to the crystal room. I wish to hold a reading with all of you. Hmm, interesting. If you would please follow me to the crystal room, we may begin. Alright, so this, I'm actually excited for this one, because I remember... Eek. Alright. Wow, we got up there quick. Madam Zoe, what happened? Hmm. Oh, Johnny Depp, it's terrible. How do you know my name? The crystal, it's been destroyed. That's not good. We must tell the others right away. What's going on in there? We heard a scream. I hope no one's in danger. Don't worry, everyone. Giant Depp's in there right now. I'm sure everything is fine. Well, the looks like someone snuck in there and smashed the fortunate. What? Everything is not fine. It is not fine at all. No, this this can't be. I'm sorry, everyone. I I know you're only here for the crystal. I don't know how this happened. I understand if you want to leave. Our prize lay shattered upon the floor. I see no reason to stay. I don't think it's a good idea for anyone to leave the mansion until we figure out who smashed the fortune. Is that Morcubus on the wall? I can't believe it's gone. I should probably start by investigating the scene of the crime in the crystal room. That is Morcubus. Why would Cyrus have a portrait of Morcubus in his house? Well, didn't they all work for him? Land ho, oh, we've done it. We found the legendary Lost Isles of Thule. Soon the whole world will know what the natives put on their pizza bagels. We'll all be famous. It's all thanks to this fine crew. Thanks, Giant Depp. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, if anyone knows how to s assemble a crew for sale in the Seven Seas, it's probably Johnny Depp. <laughs> 
Looks like a relation of Roxy's. Grandmother, perhaps? I didn't know that Barney knew Cyrus. I wonder if they were related somehow. Weird, this is a portrait of a messenger I saw once. Even weirder is to find a figurine of said messenger behind the picture. This will make a great trophy case. Alright, so now I, I need to test something. Give me a second. Well, that sure was an interesting bunch. And I'm really glad I met Carl. Never saw a real zombie before. Oh, uh, he's actually a really nice guy, you know? For a shambling undead monstrosity. Jeez, oh, Blake. Also, I think those are supposed to play when you... Because I don't think you're supposed to leave until after you've solved the case. So, like, for example, I had no clue that guy's name was Carl. But, um, yeah. So, I want to come back here real quick to get our reward. I heard about the team's voyage for for Barney. Sounds nuts. Almost as cool as an episode of Star Cruiser X. Almost. Water tanks make everything better. Wait, what? There's an idle animation? Interesting. Hmm. Any clients dispatch missions? Um, who do I have left? I have these guys left. So anything nature or sports based. I'll be right back. Wow, I actually found someone who wants natures and sports. But look at the time duration. Hey there, this is Gertrude. I've got a bit of a bug problem. And no, I don't need help getting rid of them. They're my friends. But I do need help gathering my friends. But uh, gather them all before they're stepped on. Well, we, this has an excellent chance of succeeding, but I don't know if we should be sending a dog. Alright, uh, now for the other thing I actually want to check out. I'll be right back. Oh, we got an update. Oh. Well, your agents have arrived and they look hungry. Well, at least they don't look like they'll blow our cover. You asked if anyone was hungry. Hmm. I want to check with Barney real quick. Because I want to see if he actually has dialogue regarding Cyrus. Uh-oh, the crew looks a little soft. I hope they can withstand the extreme G-forces of the rocket launch. Well, here goes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off. We have lift off. Oh, God. Hey, Barney. Barney, do not play this game with me. Oh, my God. It's impossible to talk to the man. Unless I try and talk with him from down here. Oh. Now stay down. Oh my. I almost got him. I want to talk to you, old man. Ribbit. Sit. Sit in his chair. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Now walk away. Yes. Got it. What's new, Barney? Just another lonely old man with a boat looking for a safe harbor. Oh, really? That's it? Alright. Um, and now there's one last thing I'm going to test out. Um, yeah. Oh no, Dr. F went through with his cloning vat, because how could she be here and on the moon at the same time? A giant F. Alright, back to the other place. Oh, we got a status update. You probably think I don't have a fairy pizza topping, but I do. Blue cheese. Hmm. Wait. And we're back. Looking a bit more dapper. Mm. There was an arrival here. Two people, one stunning, the other foppish. I can tell by the way this leaf is bent. Hmm. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What do you th who do you think broke the force? I don't know. It's good that we have a special agent here to find out. Alright, let's start with the room. Oh, whoops. Never mind, we're starting with the phone call. I'm on the moon! I'm on the stars! Oh, it's a dream come true! We now have to find the aliens. Their teleportation device should be buried around here. Around here somewhere. Anyways. The trio of winged gargoyles was probably meant to protect the crystal. I wonder who they saw here last night. Pieces of the crystal are dented, like someone had to use a tool to be able to break it. Would any of the guests know about the properties of, of Fortunite? 
Yeah, see what I mean? Buddy will follow you anywhere and everywhere. Hmm. Phase one of the mission is complete. We've entered the pizza parlor and found important evidence. One, the restaurant is huge on the outside, but has only two tables. Two, it's called Papa Mork's. Sounds familiar somehow. Oh, as in Morcubus. Okay, I was about to say, did you just go to Geno's? Because of the two tables, but yeah. Huh, that's odd. The soot in this fireplace seems disturbed, as if someone scuffed it with his foot. This particular mm -hmm. curtain looks very nice, it has such a wonderful texture. Mm. Past the velvety curtains and foggy mm. panes of glass, I can just make oh. out the decaying swamp in the darkness. These drapes mm. appear to be swaying ever so slightly mm. in the breeze, even though the window is shut tightly. Strange. Oh, I think it's coming back to me. All right. Clock. I can't mm. tell if this clock thinks it's 10.15 or 3.50. Come on, I need the... Yeah, it sounds like some parts are missing. All right, cool, cool. Let me answer the phone. Looks like everything, everybody's here. Now let's go bug hunting. All right. Hmm. All right, so let's introduce ourselves to some of the people. Hmm. So, Madam Zoe, you live here? Oh, ah, only recently, Shea. We haven't actually read the will yet, but I assume the house will be left to me. I see. And did you suspect the fortune I crystal would be left to you as well? We shall. We shall. The fortune. The fortune crystal had the power to see into the future. As the family psychic, it's natural that it would be mine. Well, I'm sorry about this whole disaster, Madam Zoe. Not as sorry as me, my shay. But I predict you will solve this mystery. It appears that this door is locked. Maybe I can open it somehow. Manipulate. Or pick lock. Probably the pick lock option. Alright, so we need to... Back. Back. Up. Over. Over. Down. Over. Down. Unlock. Uh, well, let's talk to everyone else before we leave. Uh, please tell me about the crystal. Oh, it was wonderful. Just gazing into it allowed one to see glimpses of the future. And you said it was made out of pure fortunite? Yes, it measured 97.9 give boat sprats on the Spraddler Gibson purity scale. And you can and can you think of it, why anyone would want to destroy it or how it would be destroyed? Steal it, yes. Destroy it, no. And I'm unsure what could damage such a strong crystal. Gordon might know more about Fortunite. Interesting. Thank you, Zoe. Alan, hmm. why are you running? Tell me, tell me about the crystal. Oh, Cyrus took such good care of it. It was always looked locked safely in that room. Did he ever let anyone in? I, as a butler, was tasked with taking care of it. I would clean it and make sure it was safe. Do you know much about Fortunite? What could shatter the crystal like that? No, I don't know. If you want to know more about Fortunate itself, you should probably go talk to Gordon. Thank you, Carl. So what's your deal, Carl? Oh, me? Well, I've been a butler here for 87 years. Of course, I was alive for most of that. Really? Fascinating. So you knew Cyrus his whole life? Oh, yes. He was both my employer and friend for those many years. And this crystal? Oh, the master kept it so safe. It was very precious to him. And now I let it get broken. I could die of shame. Again. Now, don't worry, Carl. I'll get to the bottom of this. Alright, there we go. That's a bit better. Oh, that wasn't my screen tear, and that was actual pixels around him. Hmm. What brings you to the reading tonight? Well, darling, I was Cyrus's personal fashion assistant. And you figured it would be only natural that I am in the will? Of course, darling. That makes sense, I think. Thanks, Mr. Cole. 
Gobbly boo. How did you know Cyrus, Trevor? Oh, wonderful. A real criminal questioning. What wonderful research for my next play. Yes, it is. I just fixed you. Why are you... Alright, hopefully that's a bit better. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. Do you have an answer? Ooh, of course. Well, I hate to toot my own horn, but I was Cyrus's favorite playwright. Really? Oh, yes, he was a huge fan. We met years ago at the sign in for my new play. He has such wonderful taste. Uh, okay, and then you became friends? Close friends! Okay, Trevor, thanks. The closest! Uh, I'm bring you here, Gordon. Uh, old Cyrus was a good friend of mine. He was in my book club. And you figured he might leave you something in his will? Indeed. I thought he might leave me a book or two. He had quite an extensive collection. Anything else I should know? I once read in a book that butterflies taste with their feet. I'm gonna go ahead and not write that down. Thanks. Now get back here, Gordon. There's more to say. Hmm. What do you know about Fortune? Uh, I know a good deal about his properties. Was there specific information hmm. you wanted to know? Hmm. I was looking for information on what could break a Fortunite crystal. Oh, ah, that information is kept in the authoritative Fortune Fortunite reference book, Fame and Fortunite, a complete reference. Do you have a copy on you? No, but Cyrus had a rare first edition copy of it in a cardboard box at the top of the library. Thanks, Gordon. Fortunate. Bird cardboard box. I need to climb up there to read it. This is the like the only thing I remember about this is, well, I don't remember it being a mirror, but I remember him pulling out a skull in his idol animation. You know, because he's a because he's a actor. <laughs> Did he only pull out a mirror? I thought he pulled out a skull, you know, like the to be or not to be <laughs> thing. <laughs> Do it. Alright, not. Alright, so we got the kitchen, mm -hmm. lima beans, chickpeas, and scrapple, mm -hmm. and I'm a little worried about what's for dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how long have these cookies been up mm -hmm. here? Giant jar of jam and me without any toast. Mm -hmm. There's a thick coat of dust on here. I'm afraid to see what's underneath. Mm. This is a nice old pepper grinder. It uses hardened steel gears that never wear out. Oh. Got a call. Hey, Johnny Depp, check it out. I programmed my phone to order pizza with the press of a button. Oops, I ordered 37 pizzas while the phone was in my pocket. Hmm, I wonder what's inside this crate. Sack of flour. I wonder what I would need that for. Looks like several recipe books. How to serve kajun, roots of tubers, mushrooms, and forgotten fungi. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Just casually make a casserole. Mm -hmm. Just a sideboard, nothing out of the ordinary here. Hmm. I wonder if I can force this uh. open. Uh. Man, I can't even F space it open. Okay. So let's check out the library next. Oh, this is the dining room. What a nice old days. It looks like it holds a lot of flowers. Take that, flowers. I don't know why we're doing that. Both the value and the creepiness of this expressionist painting cannot be measured. Ah, eh, Gino has one of those. Mm. This, the woman in this elegant bus looks mm. over her surroundings with a serenely oh. snooty gaze. Dag, dag. I shouldn't risk smashing such a nice piece of art. Mm -hmm. Decorative plates for several exotic lo mm. locals and displayed behind the glass, locked behind glass doors. Mm. 
An apothecary cupboard of strange mm -hmm. potions and macabre oh. recipes. Something no fine dining room should be without. Mm -hmm. This abject piece's cheery mm -hmm. rendition of two women is a stark contrast to the room's ah. gloomy atmosphere. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but I swear I just saw a servant platter move. Oh, there you are. Tell me about yourself, Violet. I don't like to talk about myself. Could you at least tell me anything about how you knew Cyrus? I don't like to talk about my past. Okay, Violet. I guess I'll leave you alone. If I was reluctant to share your past, why? Can I look at more information about around the mansion? We could probably just go back and ask Poppy. This cabinet must store expensive... Chush chicks? What's this a statue of? This bears a resemblance to Gordon, but why does it have a scepter and skull? Regardless, it'll look nice in my trophy case. Mm -hmm. For an ancient hearth, this seems oddly mm. free of any soot. Mm. Despite the ever-present fire, mm. the hearth tools don't appear to get much use. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If I put this lampshade on my head, I'd really liven up this party. <laughs> Right, where's this library everyone's talking about? Or was that the room I unlocked? Mm -hmm. uh, interested in a magazine with an article about the mansion. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, that's a picture of Violet with Cyrus. Violet seems to have a definite connection to Cyrus, as noted this magazine. She is reluctant to go into details. <laughs> if only he had a heart. We've examined the menu and we're ready to put in the next phase of the mission into place. We're not sure what toppings to investigate. What should we order? High yield explosive. Well, I've moved every joint of this suit and armor, and there's not a single secret passage to be found. Uh, no, that's just play. Examine some nice suit of armor, not a speck of rust. With practice, perhaps I could put on a puppet show with this one. Row, row, row. Gee, I hope nobody's hiding in there right now. This suit of armor looks to be just my size. It'd be perfect for a renaissance fair. Why does Buddy have new dialogue? I need to find evidence of Violet's connection to Cyrus. Have you found any incriminating photos? Maybe a financial ledger? I'm sure there's something around here somewhere. Where would photos be kept? I guess we can go talk to Violet about that, and then we'll have to end the episode. No, I guess not. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. And then the next episode, we'll start with the library, and uh, we'll get this whole thing figured out. So... Thank you so much for watching. Oh, whoops. We'll deal with this first. Mm. Wait a minute. This isn't a pizza at all. It's some kind of plastic explosive designed to look like a pizza. It's even got cheese and sauce on it. Glad we didn't take a bite of that. This evidence will really help our case. Hey, so. Thank you all so much for watching. And in the next episode. Oh, my. Bugs. Oh, yeah. These guys are great. They just love my music. In the next episode, we'll continue with this. So, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay safe. Have fun, and have a great day.